Okay, so this one took 41 minutes, but I shortened it, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this Reddit post we will be doing is Am I the Asshole? Of course, uh, we're doing, and we're going to be reading it. Let's, let me go get the first post. Okay, so this story is Am I the Asshole? When I told my husband it's time, it's his responsibility to mend our relationship with our son. My husband and my our son is not getting do not get along. My son thinks his dad doesn't like him, and my husband thinks son doesn't like him. Son is the son is creative in touch with emotions, and my husband is practical, down to earth, retired from the military who has two emotional states: fine and angry. When he's angry, he shuts down and withdraws for a bit. Yesterday, son, my son and his dad got into a brief spat. Dad told him not to be late to work late for work at 4 p.m. Son responded, "I don't know. I don't go in until 5. I know what my schedule is, dad." Who thought he was being snarky? And said, "Well, if you get fired for being late, that's on you." My husband asked me later that night why my son doesn't like him. I said because he thinks you don't like him. So he's on the defensive every time you talk about him. I said you need to reach out to him and try to mend the fences. My husband said he's trying he's tried but he keeps getting rejected. I said keep trying. You need to be a bigger person here. You're not the parent. Don't give on give up on him. Husband excuse me of being the asshole by putting most of the responsibility for the relationship on him. He says he'll always be there for his son, but I am not going to chase after him, begging him to like him. Am I the asshole? Honestly, I don't know, as so all of my responses are appreciated. And the responses say, Husband asked me later that night why my son doesn't like him. Is it because he tries to... Mer- micromanage him and makes smarmy comment, snorky comments about son getting fired because that certainly would have pissed a 17 year old off. Yeah, if your husband is asking, why does my son not like me? For the and like literally earlier in the morning, you said to your son, it's not my fault that if you get fired at then. You aren't going to, like, basically he's saying that if he gets fired, it will be his fault. Keeps reminding him on the dot when he knows what he's supposed to do. It's really annoying. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go to the next post. Am I the asshole for tricking my boyfriend? I am Chinese and no one in my family uses deodorant. We shower every day and use soap, but we don't use deodorant. And I don't usually sweat either, except when during intense exercises i didn't find it weird until i was in high school when people put on deodorant in the locker rooms and i was confused and asked them why that it was i never had anyone complain about my body odor but i accidentally told someone i didn't use deodorant because i didn't think it was a big deal and they told me i was gross and that i'd stink and got i got bullied for it i kept my mouth shut and deodorant so i would seem weird Around my early 20s, I stopped wearing deodorant again, and no one noticed, including my opinionated roommates. I was really confused, because neither I or anyone in my family smelled or anything, and I I did some research and realized all of East Asians lack a certain gene that produces body odor. I was shocked that there that was a thing, and began asking my boyfriends to ch- smell my armpit. Weird, I know, and they confirmed I do not have any smell. I started dating my current boyfriend a year and asked him casually over dinner if I smelled. He said no and I told him about me not using deodorant and he freaked out, saying it was disgusting and that it's rude not to wear deodorant. I was surprised because he literally said I didn't smell and told him about the research showing genes difference for agents and he struggled Shrugged it off, saying everyone is the same, no smell, lack of a gene is fake, and refused to look when I went to him to studies and showed it was real. He went out a few days later and brought me deodorant and forced me to wear it, making sure to watch me do it. I decided to take the deodorant out and 
and out of the tube as the, an experiment and applied an empty tub while he was watching to see if he really noticed anything if I smelled. After a week, I asked him how I smelled, and he said, great, and I revealed to him I had been applying an empty deodorant stick, that, I, and he got angry and accused me of lying and tricking him to see I, to, to me if he can't tell the difference between deodorant and no deodorant. We literally do the devil's tango every time. Then I shouldn't matter what it shouldn't matter to him, but he ca called me disgusting, and we got into a big fight over it. I mean, first of all, if you don't smell much, I don't know if it's a big deal, but I would mainly say um, just put on deodorant and don't tell people like, "Hey, I don't wear deodorant." It's gonna make you sound uh, weird. So don't say it like openly, cause um. Yeah, that reason. And if you choose not to wear it, hey, good on you. Uh, if you get bullied for it, hey, it's no one else's fault but yours. Just make sure to wear it to be nice. To be Just wear it out of uh, courtesy, I guess. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you like the speed drawing content and my Reddit posts. I've been picking up on more, um, like, better drawing tips recently i'm going to like um mention a channel in my uh, title that really helped me with the art stuff basically like giving tips and stuff about it i also like her roasting art videos and fixing them because hey they seem really good and she's she's giving us tips on the internet tips that i no one else could give <laughs> but she does it for clout which is fine anyways make sure to like and subscribe Bye, I love you all.